So I wanted to ask you, and you don't have to answer if you don't want to, but everybody's talking about the Jake Paul fight. All right. Everybody's talking about it. Um, you know, uh, if if it was rigged or if it was this. And, you know, I know last time we talked, you had a little bit of a perspective because we were kind of like, oh, how much would you get in the ring or something like that from Mike Tyson? You're like, yes. I'd get in there for the money. So obviously that sure. is a, a pretty good thing. So it's kind of a couple parter. Um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, do you think it's rigged, which whatever you can answer? Whatever. And then um, um, do you actually think he's a decent boxer? And what do you think uh, about him I, actually fighting Mayweather? I mean, he t okay, let's let's just be honest and real about one thing. They're never going to throw him in there with somebody who's a legit boxer. Nobody. They're right. probably not even going to throw him in there with anybody who is a legit boxer that does MMA. You know, he's he's picking his he's picking his guys right with the Ben Asterix and you know whoever the the basketball player he he fought with. Yeah. Nate Robinson. They're not going to throw him in there. Yeah, they're not going to throw him in there with somebody legit. Um, but he actually is a good boxer. I've, I've, I've actually been to the gym where he's training at. He's actually sparred a couple um, guys that my coach trains. Yeah. Uh, and he's not he's not bad. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give him all the respect that he deserves. The dude works his ass off. So uh, he's kind of sneaking up on people. You know, people are like, oh, you know, he's a – He's a social media guy, you know. He's a, he's a YouTuber. He's 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 a joke. He has his money. He has a lot of money. He's not taking it seriously. He's taking it seriously. He he. From what his trainer told us, he said they get up in the morning. First thing they first thing in the morning, you know, they're, they're, they start training. Then he eats a little something. Then trains again. And he you know he's run. He he pretty much trains all day long. And I think he's been doing it for like it had to be like 20, 20 something weeks now. The dude's yeah, taking I mean, it seriously. Yeah, and even to be a fighter, step in the ring with a professional – they're professional athletes. Maybe they're not professional yeah. boxers. Like you're, sure. you're not a joke at this point, even though a lot of no. people that are judging him are people that haven't ever stepped into a ring with him, you know. And that, and that's not me. Like, I'm not judging him. I don't I, – I, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the boxing and the fighting, but I've never been one to get in there. So that's why it was kind of cool to ask your perspective of it. But today, I think it was, or was it last night, they actually announced – that he and him and Floyd Mayweather are supposed to have an exhibition match on June 5th with the stipulation that Mayweather hat can't break 160 and he has to be around 190. So they're going to give him 30 Ooh. pounds. Well, let's say that this. Could be you know, you know be Paul will last about three rounds because Mayweather will just keep backing up like he did against yeah. Pacquiao anyways. Yeah, hey, yeah, I don't know. At least I, for a little bit. Yeah, and, and I'd love to hear your take uh, on that, hearing that. I, I don't know if you've heard of that or not, but, yeah, there was something that they, they kicked around uh, to, today or last night on social media. I, I wish they would let these guys, like, really go at it. Like, I don't understand why that, you know, they're paying them great money. Um, and, you That's know, an when – when Mayweather fought McGregor, you can't tell me Mayweather was trying to trying to finish him. You know, he was he was making a show about it. You know, he wasn't right. He, when when Tyson fought Roy Jones Jr., come on, man, that was you know, y'all saw it. Yeah, <laughs> if they Tyson weren't trying to hurt each other, they had Mayweather you know they had like so technical against against McGregor. He knew that if he if he stayed away from McGregor for two or three rounds, he'd win because McGregor would be tired. Yeah, but if if yeah, Mayweather sure. actually went after him, there's a chance that McGregor was gonna knock his ass out. Yeah, if he caught him, if, if he caught him with the right punch, which he shouldn't, but it happens. Yeah. Um, and he knew he knew. See, boxers are smart, man, and I'm I'm just now yes. just now putting my foot into like the boxing world. You get you get in the ring with a great boxer, and he will he will tire you out. He will run from you that whole time and let you punch yourself out. And they they understand that there's no way that you can possibly train for that. That's just that's just a, like a boxing secret. You know, if they run from you, you chase them. Uh, it takes takes more power out of you when you swing and miss than it does when you swing and hit. And they'll just make yeah. you miss until you tire up. And a yeah. good a good boxer will, will go in there with the mindset, and he'll yeah. outthink you. And, and next thing you know, you have you know you can't feel your arms, and he's he's killing. You. But I wish they would have let you know. I wish they would let these guys like really. I know the Jake Paul and uh, Ben Ashley thing. That that seemed legit. I, can't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, ben Ashley seemed way too happy to get knocked out after the fight. They showed him like walking with his girl, and he's like smiling and laughing. He got a million for that fight. I would be smiling and laughing too, especially if I went out that quick. You know, he's going straight to the bank. Good for him. I don't. I don't know how legit it was. 
he he looked like he didn't train a day in his life. He looked like he didn't sit up to get out of bed. Um, yeah. And he might not have. By, <laughs> yeah, just by the way he looked, man, he he looked horrible. Um, and cheap so he, he obviously didn't train. Fighting. Yeah, yeah, and it, and I when he fought, uh, they they were showing clips of him fighting. Uh, who was? Uh, Dang, I thought about this earlier, and I, and I nailed who the guy was. But he was on the ground just getting smoked, man, ground and pounded. Uh, who was this guy? But I, I think, too, I either – I don't think it was, like, his first fight in a while. Like, he had been, no. I think, out of the game for a while. And like you said, even if he did train, who who knows? You know what I mean? And, and then, well, you would know. We wouldn't, you know, yeah. of the of – the, you know, the training that he actually did. You know, how much did he get hit? But like you said, I couldn't tell if he was so happy. Well, one, because he just got a million dollars. Two, because it was done and he didn't really get that hurt. Or three, maybe he no. really did get knocked out and he was just having a great time in, in the concussion protocol. <laughs> Could be. Uh, Robbie Lawler. It, sh it showed Robbie Lawler on top of Ben Asher just ground and pounding the shit up, bouncing his head off the mat. And he took those punches, and th this is without a box glove on, so it hurts a little worse. And he was taking those left and right, man. And he did not. He didn't get knocked out then. Um, he might still be kind of concussed from the Mazadov knee when when Mazadov kneed him in the head. He yeah. might. He might still be out of it from that because. I mean, they do hit him with a good punch, but, you know, you got box gloves on. You used to get hit with a lot harder punch. That shouldn't have knocked you out. That shouldn't have slept you like it did. So, you know, there's always going to be that question, like, whether he took a fall or, you know, just, just took the shortest way to the bank. Who knows? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, you know, at the end of the day, the next thing, it, well, it's already didn't take, it's already the next thing. Jake Paul and Floyd Mayweather, which to me, that just blows my mind. I think, to go back to your point, we need a Jake Paul, Mike Tyson. No holds bar exhibition. Let Let's just <laughs> let him go. Because I think Jake Paul's going to go in there. He's like, you know what? I'm going to do this. Let's, you know, with his pen telly, Tyson's going to hit him once and he's going to go, oh, shit, I fucked up. Yeah. I heard. <laughs> take the, <laughs> take the damn, take the governors off Mike Tyson. Take, you know, take the leash off of him like they had on him with his fault, Roy. You know, I think they had like a no knockout, no knockdown clause, no knockout clause. Like you can't knock the guy out. Man, them Joker's making millions of dollars. You can't. Let Even Roy, let him hurt you. Roy after the fight was like, oh, man, I've been hit a lot, and I've been hit a lot in my career, and those things still really hurt. <laughs> yeah. Tyson looked like he wanted to go 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 vintage Tyson on him. You've seen a couple moments where you see him, like, flashing back with these these body, vicious body shots and then, you know, body head like he like he does. And he, he was kind of – you could tell he was holding back from it. Um, maybe that maybe that was – you know, maybe they were – holding his paycheck to make sure he, he he let Roy out alive. I don't know. I don't the know. trainer's going, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Don't do, not that one, not that one. You can't kill him. <laughs> but I don't man. know, man. What, I can't that's break a, it back? That's all, yeah, that's always, that's always a question with boxing these days. It's like you never, you know, there's always some kind of rig or some kind of something that has to do with it. The, the, a, the A sides the, going against the B team and, you know, the A team always wins. So that that's kind of where ruin boxing is kind of, you know, it's still a part of it. You know, there's, it's, it's always going to be that way, I guess. That was kind of the good thing about when, when the, when MMA came out, when the USC came out, I was like, you know, there was you know, there wasn't no faking shit in that because these guys are actually getting put to sleep. So yes. boxing yep. is, you know, you all, you always kind of scratch your head with boxing and I don't think that's ever going to go away.